Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father seed line in your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, a Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah with another lesson. And today we're going to go into some of Ezekiel 2 because the most I just lays out right here in this chapter, uh, the, the, state of degener uh, the state of degeneracy that the two-thirds of Israel is in, man. And we see it and it's just getting worse as the days go by. You know, with all this fucking social media, everybody clout chasing, you know, uh, just, just a bunch of lewdness, man. Fucking everybody and their mama got OnlyFans. You got niggas out here scamming. You got uh, men out here committing adultery to other men's uh, women. All type of shit is going on in Israel. You got Jake murdering each other. You see? Scamming each other. Just a bunch of uh, a treacherous ass niggas, man. And this is this is not how we're supposed to be as Israelites. But that's that, that's that fucking spirit of black culture that Jake is engulfed in. Where the men are fucking a bunch of homos. Uh, hey, a bunch of homo thugs. The the women are a bunch of fucking sluts. There's no order in the households. There's no fathers. You see? It's just complete chaos and disorder amongst the two thirds of our people. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to address it, man. You see? Because you niggas really think that you're going to be in the earth forever in this fucking spirit of uh, of being a goddamn nigga. You see? So I'm fucking black culture, man. The most I was about to put an end to all this shit. You see? Because he's going to put a... Hey, Two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to suffer greatly here in these times that we're coming into, man. You see? Because, hey, we're going to sound repetitive, but here it is again. Great judgment is about to go out. Great judgment is going out, man. Because hey, you Israelites... Have completely gone. You have gone completely left, man. Following after these fucking heathen nations, especially Esau, the so-called white race. You see, just a bunch of uh, a nation of uh, a, bu uh, a fucking grimy ass, low life, greasy niggas and bitches, man. You see, and we're we're supposed to be the righteous kings of the earth. Our women are supposed to be fucking princesses, man. You see? Our nation is the fucking laughing stock of the entire planet, man. Nobody respects you. They all look down upon you. Look how you fucking carry yourself, man. You see? Look how you carry yourself. You niggas is out here shooting each other because somebody stepped on your fucking shoes. Your women are all, all out of order, all in the restaurants, turking on people's tables and shit. You see? Busting it open for $3.99 on OnlyFans. How do you think the most high feels about this, man? The most high is about to the most high is about to commit a great slaughter amongst the two-thirds, man, and it's, it's well deserved. You see, because you niggas are completely gone. You see, then you want to look down upon the men of the Lord who are sacrificing their life to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and, and, and uh and the ones who are calling for the Most High to establish our nation back on top once again, man. You want to look down? You want to look down upon us because we're lame? Because because brothers don't want to sleep with other men and women. You see, because we're not out here uh, uh, doing all type of drugs and shit. You see, we're looked down upon. Hey, but the Most High is gonna handle all this shit, man. Trust and believe. So when hey, when this time of, when this time of judgment comes. Hey, you, you won't get a, a fucking tear shed for you from the remnant of Israel, man. You won't get a, hey, you, hey, you will get no sympathy from us. 
You see, because we told you niggas to repent and correct your ways. But you think everything is a joke, you think everything is a fucking game, and your Hawa Bashim, your Hawa Shah is going to punish you greatly, man. So this is uh, Ezekiel 22. We'll start at verse 6. It says what? Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. In thee they have set light by father and mother. Bro, it, it's to the point now where you have these niggas out here killing their, killing either their uh, fathers and mothers or someone else's fathers and mothers. What type of shit is that? There's no respect for the elders of our, of our people. You see from these young ass niggas. Oh, fuck that old nigga this and fuck that old nigga that. Shut your old ass up, nigga. On some shit like that, man. No respect. You talk to your father any type of way? I done seen videos where Jake is out here beating his father up. Jake out here fighting his mother. It says what? In the midst of thee, have they dealt by oppression with the stranger? In thee, have they vexed the fatherless and the widow? Just complete demons, man. Especially in these fucking in these inner cities all throughout this country, man. Fucking demons walking around with fucking fully automatic weapons, terrorizing the fucking neighborhood. You see? Can't even play outside like like we once could because what? Niggas is out here pulling drive-bys and your baby outside in the front yard. They, these niggas letting off 150 rounds and shit. Thinking that shit cool. Talking about they pulling a fucking drill. You see? Verse 8, it says what? Thou hast despised mine holy things and has profaned my Sabbaths. And, that, and that's what's happening. The holy things of the Most High, beginning with the men of the Lord, you, you despise us. We're telling you that you need to correct your behavior. Leave off from that nigga mentality because the Most High ain't dealing with that shit. That shit is not cool. You niggas walking around here, tattoos all on your face, your pants hanging off your ass. You see? Bunch of fucking scumbags, man. And want to come to the camps to try to fight us when we're, we're trying to tell you to do what's right. What's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. You see? Verse 9 it says what? In thee are men that carry tales to shed blood, gossiping, running your mouth like bitches. That's all that's on Instagram now. Niggas just on podcast just talking shit. Shit like Vlad TV niggas just rumors back and forth, man. All damn day, every day. It says what in thee, and in thee, they eat upon the mountains, and in the midst of thee they commit lewdness. And that's all you fucking see, man. It's everywhere. Everywhere. I was scrolling Instagram earlier. You know, and uh this one chick. She was doing a fucking get ready with me video, but the, the only reason she did it is what she, it's so she could be half fucking naked on camera talking about she showing her outfit. Bitch, you could have laid the clothes on the bed, <laughs> showed the outfit, and then cut, and the clothes could have been on you. No, she had to get butt shit. She had to get down to a bra and panties. <laughs> you see? Had to take all that off. They put the clothes on in the camera so you can see a teacher's jiggling, so you see her ass jiggling. You see? This is what the women. This is what you women decide to do with your so-called freedom. That's all you can decide. To, that, that's all you can do. It's gonna be sluts and whores. <laughs> this is what you got freedom for. You see, to fuck any nigga you want, to conduct yourself in any way you want to conduct yourself, without any repercussions. That's that's what you use your freedom for. Lewdness, man. You see. Matter of fact, let's define this word for lewdness. Let's look at the definition for it.
Strong's age 2154. Zema. 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 Says what? Plan, divide, device, wickedness, evil plan, mischievous purpose. And that's all you niggas is up to. You see? All you niggas is up to in the earth is mischief. You see? Trying to find a way to fuck somebody over in any shape, form, or fashion. You see? And, and, and this is why we don't fucking... Uh, 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 what's the word? This is why we don't want to be around you niggas, man. <laughs> You see, we don't want to live amongst you. you don't, we don't want to. We, we just don't want to be around you, niggas, man. Because all you niggas are up to is mischief, man. It says what? Plan, purpose, evil device, wickedness, not chaste, incest, licentiousness, adultery, idolatry, harlotry, and that's and that's all black culture is, bro. You niggas are calling black this and black that and black culture this and, and for the culture that. It is nothing but death, bro. <laughs> it's nothing but death. Adultery. Men out here sleeping with other men and women. Women out here with men and they hopping from dick to dick. That shit is death, man. <laughs> but that's the culture. You see? Idolatry. I here worshiping all these fucking false idols. Had this nigga fucking Desi Banks up in Icebox the other day. He up here paying fucking hundreds of thousands of dollars for a fucking Jesus piece. <sighs> you see? Madness, man. Harlotry. Harlotry. What is that? Being a fucking whore. And who and who's at the forefront of this uh, this fucking harlot movement, man? Meg the Stallion. Cardi B. Suki Hana with her nasty ass. Shawty Red. Shawty Red. Sexy red with her ugly ass. You see, these are the these are the bitches that are put on the forefront and propagated. You see, to push that wicked ass vibration of, of, of harlotry, man, being a fucking hoe. You see this ugly ass bitch, uh, Glorilla, talking about all you ladies in your twenties. You need to fucking uh, uh what she say? Fuck as many men as possible. What the fuck are you talking about, you raggedy bitch? This is why when this thing really pops off and all hell breaks loose here in the land of America, a lot of you bitches are going to be raped out here for how you carry yourself. The most I ate. You want to be a Harley? Hey, that's how you're going to be treated out here when these damn foreign soldiers are in the streets. Kicking your fucking doors in. You see, the most I'm going to he, he gonna show you some shit. All you women who are following in that wicked ass spirit, you see... He gonna show you some shit. Hey, all you men who think you thugs and gangsters, you see? <laughs> Wanna shoot up the fucking neighborhood? A lot of you niggas, if you ain't put to death first, your ass is gonna be sent to World War III. <laughs> the most high about to show you niggas, man. The most high is going to show you motherfuckers, man. And we can't wait because we're sick of you niggas. We, we, hey, look, man, we're sick of niggas, man. We're sick of niggas. We're sick of hearing you niggas talk about you black, you Hispanic, you Native American. We're sick of that shit. It's time out for that. We are the Israelites, man. You see? A royal people. Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are degenerates. They're low lives. They're scum. They're worthless. You see? Ain't no room for that amongst our nation. And that's why the Most High is going to cut two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans off. He's going to put you to death. For the way you conduct yourself, man. I just seen a video earlier where you had this guy playing the piano on the street. And Eve raggedy ass come, comes and knocks the man piano down on purpose. They tried to act like she was sorry for doing it. Instead of helping the man up, she went into the man's tip bucket and stole money out of the bucket and went up the street. You see, you see this shit? And you wonder why you get strange looks when you go around these different nations, man. Look at how you conduct yourself. Then you want to be on you want to be on social media all goddamn day complaining about how we're mistreated and they, uh, they don't like us and they just want our money. Look how you niggas conduct yourselves, man. Who wants to be around that shit? Let's go on, man. Whew, boy. <laughs> Sick of you motherfucking niggas, man. 
Verse 10 says what? In thee have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And your father's nakedness goes into what? You looking upon your father's woman. Or getting with your father's woman. Ni niggas out here doing that shit, man. Niggas is out here doing that shit. Because amongst black culture, there is no standard. There is no moral code, man. At all. You see? Verse 11 says what? And one have committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. You fucking on your brother woman. And when it says his neighbor, it's talking about Israelites. Because that's who our neighbors are. It doesn't mean everyone. Hey, and the thing is, we don't even do, hey, if, if, if we see a heathen with a woman, that's his woman. That bitch is off limits. And that's for any woman that has a man. But not for you gay ass niggas. And the thing is, a lot of you niggas are homos, man. For you to go up in, in, inside another man, knowing what you do with your woman, bro, that's some gay shit. Just think about the shit you do to your woman and think about what the next man do with his. And you gonna go over there and put your mouth on this bitch? <laughs> you gonna be licking and kissing all over this whole after? Come on now. But that's the type of spirit that's being pushed forth up under Esau. A, a wicked ass rainbow flag vibration, man. And it shouldn't be this way. And this is why this is gonna be the greatest time of judgment the world has ever seen, man. Because once again, everything is polluted Everything is polluted beyond all. Hey, ain't no coming back. <laughs> America can't be healed, but the only answer for this place and the inhabitants of it is for it to be destroyed. First, all hell is going to break loose. Chaos, calamity, confusion, famine, plagues, pestilence. That's going to grip this place. And then the most high going to finish it off by way of what? Nuclear destruction. That's why this place is going to suffer the same fate as Sodom and Gomorrah. And, we, and guess what they were doing in Sodom and Gomorrah? The same shit you motherfuckers are doing right now here in America, man. Shit, America's going in and, and, and exceeded what Sodom and Gomorrah was doing. So this place has a great judgment coming upon it. And, and all you Israelites who refuse to repent and come up out of that wicked-ass way of thinking, that wicked-ass way of living, the Most High is going to leave your ass here to melt you as well, man. So it says what? Ezekiel 22 and 11. And one have committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. You see that? That's a no-go, man. And, mo and motherfuckers will look at us. Look at the brothers. With t like we got ten heads when we tell you we don't deal with, a, with the next man's woman. That's that man's woman. That's his wife. She off limits. And you know what a, a two-third nigga say? Man, fuck all that, man. Fuck all that. I'll tear that ass up. Goofy nigga. <laughs> you see? But we're the weirdos. No, nigga. You niggas are weird. <laughs> you niggas are weird, man. You see, it says what? And another have lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. You gonna get what your son's woman? This is what you grimy, low-life niggas is doing here in, the, in Babylon the Great. Now we know Israel is scattered amongst all the heathen nations and we pretty sure, what shit, we know that all these different things, they happen amongst these heathen nations as well. But we're talking about here in America, where the greatest the greatest judgment is gonna take place, you niggas are out here sleeping with your son's woman. It don't get no lower than that, man. You gonna do that to your child over some pussy? When there's more than enough women out here for you to have ten to yourself, if not more. You burning, you burning that bad that you got to go sleep with the next man's woman or sleep, sleep with your son's daughter? <laughs> I'm not son's daughter. Your, uh, your son's woman? Come on, man. And the thing is, ain't none of you niggas getting away. The most I see is all this. Oh, man, let me get that real quick. Real quick. Uh... I think it's just a rock if I'm mistaken.
I'll be able to find it. I ain't, ain't going to that one in a minute. Call her lawyer. How about some old side? There it is. This is a. Uh... Yup, that's story right here. Cause at the end of the day, you Israelites, even even you who don't know or you don't accept the fact that you're Israelite, you're held to a higher standard than every other nation around us, man. Because we were the ones who are set up on the earth to be the vessels of the uh, of glory to the Most High. We're supposed to represent the the, the Almighty God in heaven. And his son Yahweh shot by doing what? Upholding that moral standard that he gave us, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. You see, a lot of this shit you niggas are doing out here, you, you off niggas out here eating all, all time, niggas eating out here eating all manner of abominable meat. That shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, clams, all that shit, that's not, that's not edible. I mean, you can eat it, but you're not supposed to eat it. Why? Because the Most High didn't set those things, those things up to be eaten. But. Uh, <laughs> All up, all, all up and down social media. Hot honey glazed garlic lobster tails. Lemon, lemon garlic ginger juice crab balls. Goddamn catfish nuggets. And you're not supposed to be eating that shit. We have a dietary law we, we, we have to follow, man. There's, there's more than enough lawful animals that we can eat. You see, but you niggas would rather go eat Things that are not supposed to be eaten, man. Refusing to, to uphold the most high standard. Once again, going back to the adultery thing. That's a major, that's a part, that's black culture. That's a part of black culture. That's a major thing that's uplifted and exalted amongst all people. Look at, listen to all the music. This nigga Dream had one of the biggest songs in America at one point. I love your girl. You know what I'm saying? Shorty, I got it in for your girlfriend. Nigga, what? <laughs> you see? This nigga Usher. That nigga known for damn sleep with the next man woman. That shit is not pleasing to the most high, man. And it leads to death for the man and for the woman. And this is why there's so much fucking disease going on. This is why the fucking... Have you not seen the statistic for, uh, for fucking Houston? The, the goddamn chlamydia or whatever it was... Like tripled in the last few months. And it comes for what? These women sleeping with multiple dudes. And then they, these bitches ain't at, they ain't they ain't saying put no condom on. They just letting everybody bust up in them. And you you wonder why your shit smelling like salmon croquettes. Cause that's a foul and disgusting thing that you're doing, man. But you don't want to hear that correction. You sexually liberated, right? Hey, we telling you, man. We we telling you. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna handle all that shit when the time comes. Everybody, hey, everyone is gonna be addressed. Even us. If we don't if we don't keep our shit tight. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna check everybody because he's not a respectable person, man. Most I don't give a fuck <laughs> about who you think you is. He the almighty, man. And niggas are about to find out the hard way. So it's a rock, or Ecclesiastes chapter 17, verse 17, it says what? For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he said a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. We belong to the almighty God, man. The one true living power, the creator of the heavens and the earth. We are his people. He set us apart from every other nation, man. We're not the same. In no shape, form, or fashion. We are a different breed of being on this earth. You see? It says what? Verse 18. Whom being his firstborn, he nourisheth with discipline, and giving him the light of his love, doth not forsake him. You see that? And how was that done? Because the Most High gave us his, his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the form of the law, statutes, and commandments. The way you're supposed to conduct yourself on the earth. You see? And that's what it's going back to when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. Yahweh Shah is coming to establish righteous order in the earth, and the earth will be governed by way of the law, statutes, and commandments. You see, and that's gonna cause life to flourish. That's gonna cause the earth to go back to being, a, going back to being in the state of a, of paradise. You see, it won't be this filthy ass thing that we see around us that that that, that Esau, you see, has has well, she, you know, he he's basically destroyed the planet. 
everything is defiled, so forth and so on, and so forth and so on, because he doesn't uphold the, the righteous way of the Most High. And the reason he doesn't do it is because it wasn't given to him. You see, that to 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 uh, uh, to carry that torch to do that. That's for us to do. That's our job as Israelites. You see, for us to walk in the light of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh perfection. You see, and, and and be that God that that guide to the rest of the nations in righteousness, and that's what we're going back to. This is what we're. This is this is the journey that we're on as uh, as the true believers. You see, but going on. Verse 19 says what? Therefore all their works are as the sun before him. And his eyes are continually upon their ways. So even though you don't know you're Israelite or you don't accept the fact that you're Israelite, you're still being watched by the Most High. He sees everything that you're doing. There's nothing being hid from him, man. That's what you got to understand. Nothing is being hid from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, especially for us Israelites. He sees everything you're doing. He's, he knows everything you're going to do before you do it. He knows that you're plotting and scheming on, on, on the next man's woman. He sees you trifling bitches out here. Talk about you got side niggas. <laughs> you got a roster full of niggas. He sees you hoes. You see? He sees you niggas out here fucking committing, committing all this damn murder. Falling after these dumbass rappers. You see, following the lifestyle these rappers portray that they don't even live, man. He sees you. He sees you eating those crab cakes. <laughs> that shrimp, that pork, that crab, that lobster. He sees that shit. He sees you out here in these fucking, these pagan Christian churches that are just, uh, you out here just worshiping idols, man. The most I see is all that shit. He sees you women trying to usurp, uh, usurp authority over a man. Trying to tell a man what he can and can't do. What he can and can't go. He sees you women trying to use these children as a weapon against these men. You see that? The most I see is everything, man. There's nothing that you Israelites are doing that's been hid from you. How about you? How about you? And this is why that judgment is going to be so harsh because we've told you these things and you niggas have refused it. You see? You act like you don't give a damn because you know why? Let's show you why. <laughs> why 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 you act like you don't give a damn? Because it tells us right here. Uh, yup. <laughs> so like it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. It says what? Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, it is, but therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So since you don't, you're not judged exactly when you do something, you see, and we're telling you that that is wrong to do. You thinking, yo, well, I've done this shit 200 times. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. I've been in port my whole life. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. I been fucking niggas, bitches. I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't, I ain't nothing happened to me yet. You see, you feel that way because that judgment isn't executed as soon as you do it. But what we're here to let you know is, you're being preserved for this day of evil, man. You're being preserved for the day of the Lord. That's all it is. You see, and 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 you know what? That's the spirit that everyone is in in the earth, except for the remnant. Everyone outside of the remnant is in the spirit of I can do whatever I want to do because I, we hear that shit y'all talking, but ain't nothing happening to us. To the point to where we, we didn't have motherfuckers come out to the camp mocking the most high. If God is real, let him strike me down now. You see? <laughs> Tempting the most high. But the, but the thing is, we're going to see if you're going to have that same energy when, 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 when there's a lack of food. When all hell is breaking loose in these streets. When this damn economy collapses, let's see if you have that same energy, uh, energy then. And we know that you won't, man. You see that? Cause that punishment is gonna be harsh upon your ass. Let's go back. It says what? Ecclesiastes 17 and 19. It says what? Therefore, all their works are as the sun before him, and his eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. You hear that? 
You see? Everything you're doing is before the most high. Ain't no escaping in sight, man. So it will behoove you to repent and leave off from that wickedness that you're doing, man. You know, and it's a process. But those things that you can control, you can control not sleeping with another man or woman. You can control not eating abominable meats. You can control not worshiping idols. You women, you can control not trying to be a, uh, uh, an authority over your man. You can control not jumping from dick to dick. You see, you can control these things. But, but a lot of you niggas are completely going in the flesh and you, you don't want to do that. Because you, you, you're, so, you're so fucking intoxicated with pleasure. You see? <laughs> hey, but that pleasure is going to lead your ass to death, man. That's why it tells you if, you if you live after the flesh, you shall surely die. And that's where the two-thirds of our people are headed, man. To death in a major way. It says what? Uh, that's it on that one. So let's go back to this Ezekiel. 22. Ezekiel 22 and 11, it says what? And one have committed an abomination with his neighbor's wife, and another have lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law, and another envy have humbled his sister, his father's daughter. Lord have mercy. I have popping your sister, boy. But this is the type of shit that goes on. You see? This is the type of shit that goes on amongst you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And this behavior is going to be checked, man. And we're letting you know, man. Look, man. Look. The day is going to come where you're not just going to be able to run to the supermarket as you're doing now. You got niggas up and down these streets, all in their cars, at the car wash, just living it up. Living it up in wickedness. But we're telling you, man, <laughs> there are repercussions coming. Harsh. Things that's unimaginable because you, you, you've never seen it or experienced it before, man. But we're telling you that this time of judgment that the Most High is about to unleash is going to be, it's going to surpass what he did during the time of the flood, man. And if you understand what that flood, what, what, what it was with the flood, the Most High flooded the earth and only saved eight people. And he's letting us know that this time of judgment that he's about to unleash, this time is going to be even worse than that, man. For all this fucking lewdness and perverseness that's going on amongst you Israelites, man. It says what? 12. In thee have they taken gifts to share blood. You see that? Fucking hits. All type of shit. Thou hast taken usury and increase, and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion. Scamming. Hey, nigga that come to mind is polite. You see? It says what? And has, and has forgotten me, saith Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And, and, and the Most High is not in the thoughts of the two-thirds of our people, man. They don't even consider it. And if they do think about God, they think about it according to pagan Christianity, which is completely off. You have forget you have truly forgotten who your God is, man. You see? That's why I say as well. Oh, let's get that real quick. That's Isaiah. It says what uh Where is it? Isaiah 1 and 3. What was that? No. Isaiah 1 and 3, it says, The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. And that's what it is, man. The ox and the ass are two st stubborn, hard-headed, you see, low-IQ animals. But I can guarantee you this, if you if you took a a a, a, a a ox or an ass out into the wilderness, that they'd be able to find their way back home. You see? 
And the sons of God can't even do that, man. The sons of God, you Israelites, don't even know where your resting place is. You don't even consider that you're the chosen people. You see? Let's get this. Jeremiah 4 and 22, it says what? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sadish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. You see that? To do evil, you got all the knowledge. How to whip up crack. You see? How to hide the fucking, how to hide the motherfucking uh, kilos in the fucking tires. And wrap them up with mustard so the so the police so the police dogs can't smell them. You see? To the point where niggas is selling the goddamn vacuum sealing the pack and mailing it through the goddamn mill. How to fucking uh duplicate cars and shit and, and steal steal money out of people's uh bank accounts. You see? All type of shit, man. Y'all, y'all wise to do that, do that type of shit. But when it comes to knowing your how about Shmi Shah, you have no knowledge, man. You have no knowledge how to on how to do good. And this is why you got to be put out of your misery because you niggas are, are completely gone, man. You're sick. You see, you need to be healed. But going back, I said like, that's why that's why I was in the wrong chapter. So Ezekiel 22 and 12 it says, oh, let's get 13. Isaiah 22 and 13, Behold, therefore I have smitten my hand. Therefore, I'm sorry, but before, so like Behold, therefore I have smitten my hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made, and at thy blood which thou hast been, at, that, at thy blood which have been in the midst of thee, can thine heart endure, or can thine hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee? And the answer to that is no. When it goes down, man, these two, you two thirds are in for it. It says, "What well, I have, I Yahweh have spoken it, and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen, and disperse thee in the countries, and will consume thy filthiness out of thee." And that's what we had now. You see, the remnant is being raised up. The two thirds are still being the two thirds here in the land of our enemies. You see. It says, "What well, and thou shalt take thine inheritance, and thyself in the sight of the heathen, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai." How is that gonna be done? Because the Most High has set up His prophets out here to 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 put you up on notice, man, of what you're supposed to be doing as Israelites, of what He's gonna do in the earth according to His will. That there is great judgment coming, and you're gonna know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai did this to you, man. It goes on to say, verse 17. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. And when you go into this word for dross, is what? Dross, a moving back, dross, usually a silver, refuse, right? Let's do it like this. Let's define it in, uh, let's copy it and do it in, uh, on our entomology. So dross goes into dirt, dregs, refuge of impure matter which separates from a liquid and falls to the bottom or rises to the top. The scum thrown off from metals and smelting. And that's what you two thirds are, man. You're scum. You see? And you're going and you're being separated from the precious metal, which is the remnant. You see that? It says what? What else he's got? To make muddy, worthless remainder of what was once valued. Woo! The worthless remainder of what? <laughs> the worthless remainder is you two thirds. Because once again, look at you, man. And it ain't just the so called uh, Negroes. It's you fucking uh, Northern Kingdom Israelites, too. You Hispanics and Native Americans. You see? All of you niggas are, are, are fucking scum. Worthless. And you deserve everything you how about you me how is gonna bring upon you, man. So let's 
So we got that. Let's get out. Let's go back. It says, uh, Ezekiel 22 and 18, Son of man, the house of Israel to me has become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. You see, so when you when you melt that silver down, that 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 worthless metal, you see, is is separated from the valuable metal, man. Verse nineteen. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because ye are all become dross. Behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin in the midst of the furnace, to blow the fire upon it to melt it. So will I gather you in mine anger. And in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. And this is what's about to happen to you two thirds. The Most High is going to take you through a hellacious time of, uh, of Jacob's trouble. And once that time is finished, he's going to he's going to finish you off with nuclear fire, man. Why? Because you refuse to come up out of them, out of your wicked ways, man. After the prophets have been out here for decades now, telling you what you're supposed to be doing. Telling you that great judgment is coming from the Most High, and you took it for a joke. So you, hey, so if you, if you niggas make it past the famine and all the other plagues that the Most High send, send it. You see, you're gonna be faced with those 200 million thermonuclear warheads that's gonna rain down upon the land of America. Verse 21 says, "What? Yea, I will gather you and blow upon you in the." And the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. And that's what's coming, man. So we're letting you know. All this wicked ass, lewd behavior that you Israelites love to partake in, and, and you you know that that's that's your culture. Look, man, the most high is going to fucking melt you. You see, he's going to melt you, man. And that, like we, we we really don't have no other words to to, to, to give it to you. No, no other way to give it to you, man. He's going to melt. He's going to destroy you. A lot of you are going to die of famine. A lot of you are going to be out here put to death by these soldiers. You're going to be put to death by the teeth of wild beasts. Or whatever type of judgment the most I had set for you to happen to you. Hey, it's going to be harsh. And a lot of you women are going to be raped out here. Because you carry yourself around in the spirit of a slut and a harlot. So the most High's going to have these crazy ass men out here. You see, snatching you up, beating you across the head, and since you want to, since you want to, like uh, Elder Malcolm always says, since you want to ride the cock carousel, the cock carousel is gonna ride you, man. You bitches out here jumping from dick to dick, like it's a, like it's like it's an Olympic sport, and that shit is gonna come at to bite you in the ass, man. It's about to get very harsh out here for you rebellious ass Israelites, man. Just wait and see. And, it, and he's going to top it off with that nuclear destruction. Verse 22 says what? As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof, which is you're going to be, you're going to be melted in the midst of Babylon, and ye shall know that I, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, have poured out my fury upon you. And that's because of what? Because of your wicked fucking behavior, man. The Most High is going to completely destroy the two-thirds, man. And it's going to be very harsh. So I just wanted to bring it out real quick, man. Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect. I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah is created you to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah. Bob a ball.